So, second time I shoot this because I have to shoot it in one take. And I went on rambling for too long uh, first time, so yeah. Uh, so, a little bit of an update on why uh, the teaser video that I uploaded didn't get a follow-up yet. And what uh, my system right there is uh, doing right there and a little bit of an explanation on why uh, it is gonna it is gonna get uh, a follow-up video probably tomorrow uh, but yeah so here's my system it is in that uh, Dell uh, dimension XPS case but uh, the motherboard has changed now it has an ASUS P5Q motherboard. Um, I have two gigabytes of DDR2 in it, uh, which are borrowed from a friend uh, because I didn't have any DDR2 laying around, non buffered DDR2 laying around. Uh, all I have is FB uh, fully buffered DDR2 and registered DDR2, <laughs> ironically. <laughs> So, that's that, uh, and I have a Pentium D915 in there, overclocked to 3.7 GHz. So, that's my system for now. Uh, rest of the parts are the same, so uh, the GPU is a 5870, uh, the capture card is the same, uh, the USB 3.0 card is still there. SSD is still there, 40 gigabyte hard drive still there, PSU same thing. Um, and I was right now just playing some Portal 2 because I bought it uh, in the Steam sale. And I was just so eager to finish this freaking game because I was finishing it um, while uh, when. Well, actually, when my computer broke, when my X70 Debian Plus died, or when I killed it, rather. So yeah, uh, it runs some. It runs surprisingly well on this system. Uh, as you can see right now, we're not doing not doing anything, and the CPU is pegged at around eighty percent. Uh, it's always pegged at around 80% uh, in the game, except in some physics uh, heavy parts, uh, which, well, it goes up to like 90% or so. I haven't actually pegged the CPU at 100% on this game yet. That goes to show how freaking optimized, and I'm I'm maxing it out. I'm I mean, I am maxing this thing out uh <laughs> just look at this i'm maxing it out well except for the filters but i am maxing the thing out with vsync on and it doesn't drop below 60 frames per second um also it runs on 2 gigs of ram <laughs> impressively enough Uh, so yeah, that is that for my system. I will probably uh, edit the video tonight, edit the video, and I will have to leave it rendering probably tonight and probably most of tomorrow, most of the day tomorrow, because yeah, it is a Pentium D. I mean, yeah, it's gonna take quite a while to render uh, the video. Uh, updates on other subjects. Uh, the Mini DS 8000 project. Uh, there you go. I have ditched completely the idea of having a separate SAS. Uh, sorry, 
uh, separate um, what was it san sorry separate san uh, just connected to the network I have ditched that idea because well it was uh, too much for consumption so what I've done is I've simply added the fiber channel card to my server so now my server has uh, SAS, SATA and uh, fiber channel in it pretty cool so that's my server the cage is connected to my server and I've got seven drives in there and a blank because I bought eight 300 gigabyte drives five euro each and one of them came dead on arrival but well not really a big deal at all so who cares they're running in rate Z rate Z1 and yeah they've been running pretty well actually uh, they're now seeding some torrents that's why uh, they, they have some activity so yeah that's it for the DS8000 I'll make a little bit of a video a more in-depth video about it but yeah also the when I was taking out the the whole hard drive cage uh, the thing fell face down uh, on the cable and I broke this connector on the you can't really see it but I broke the connector it, it is completely desoldered from the motherboard luckily I didn't uh, rip any pads or destroy anything on the motherboard so I can just resolder it into the into this board but I destroyed the connector on this connector on the board so I'm using this other board right here um so yeah that's that and yeah i'm playing portal 2 and hope i can well i won't be able to finish it today but uh yeah i have a, a working computer finally after using uh a freaking, uh, a freaking thing with a Radeon 9550 from 2002 for like two months and not being able to even play YouTube in HD. So yeah, I have a temporary system, yay! I have ordered and they will come uh, a 771 to 775 uh, sticker so I can put uh, one of the X5450s in this motherboard I will be overclocking it and I have also uh, ordered uh, 4 gigs of DDR2 800 memory for the board next week uh, when I get uh, my allowance I will be ordering another four gigs so that's a total of four two gig sticks so eight gigs total the max that this board can take well theoretically it can take 16 gigs of DDR2 but uh, you need special modules designed for the P45 chipset and those are expensive those are really expensive. I'm talking a hundred euro for an eight gigabyte kit. That's how expensive they are. They are more expensive that, than DDR4. So yeah, that's that. Uh, yeah, there's this slew of computers that I have. I have my HP Vectra out because I took the 700 megahertz Pentium 3 that this thing came in came with and I unput it on there 
I have that thing out there which I was using for browsing uh, the internet that is uh, actually well I actually transplanted the 700 megahertz Pentium 3 from there to there to that one and I was using that one to browse the internet while I was building this one and didn't have a power supply for the temporary system so I was browsing the internet on that one and yeah I'm running out of space so yeah you can see one p5 any SLI right there I will be playing around with that because I bought two stickers for socket 771 775 and I do have some spare Xeons that I would like to dig around with and I still do have the uh, little water cooling uh, kit that I made so yeah So, that's about it for this update, uh, expect a video about this system soon, and yeah, that's about it, you know, comment, like, subscribe, whatever, Portal 2, check it, and bye.